Hello everybody, welcome to Era BB Week 10 Sick as Eggs with his Orcs versus that there Phil with his Nurgle um, No, it's not real, it's not an actual question um, I just meant like, you know I was hoping there'd be some hilarious Magaluf story or something when you were sucking somebody's balls I don't know Anyway, we've got <laughs> any inducements? Right, Sick as Eggs has got an extra apple. Clever. Because there's... Look, there's claws! There's claws on this team! Oh my god! That there, Phil, it's taken him 31 games, but he's actually got claws. Outrageous. Well, he's definitely going to slaughter uh, Sick as Eggs now. No, he's not. He doesn't have Mighty Blow. That's just my, my, he doesn't have Piling On, but he does have Claw Mighty, so... That gives him half a chance versus Orcs. But this is still a pretty nice Orc team. Strength up, dodge. And of course, this, um, this wonderful jump up Juggernaut Tackle Pommer who killed my witch. Motherfucker. Obviously, he's not going to enjoy quite the same success in this game as he did versus my Dark Elves. He can't just pick somebody off and pile on every turn. There is the chance of a, a foul from the Nurgle and obviously a lot of strength and guard to make it not easy as well. Oh yeah, I mean, testicles are definitely my, uh, my comedy of choice. on the criteria set for either. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Not even piling on there, see look. Oh, I wish he'd never piled on versus me. Right, I'm not going to make this all about the fact that Sick as Eggs killed my favourite player, but you know, you'll forgive me if I mention it once or twice because he did kill my favourite player, but he's got a great team, hasn't he? The troll especially is amazing. God block stand for him. Incredible. The beast is like is like a more expensive troll with tentacles, isn't he? Everything else is the same as a troll. Except he's not throw a teammate, I guess. <laughs> Once or twice per turn, yeah. Ooh, is he cause you got a GFI after this? This is a bit spicy. Maybe he just stays there. No, he does GFI, he does fail. <laughs> oh, classic. Classic Blood Bowl. But it's quite a nice, just big long line from Sick, right? Made it hard, he could only pick off the pick at the edges of them. Did he have to re-roll? I mean, what if he failed the GFI and his favourite player died? I mean, I don't know if you know, but <laughs> I just I just had my favourite player die against, against Sick as Eggs. <laughs> oh no, I've already lost. <laughs> My favourite fucking player. Oh man, just absolute classic from Flicky that, wasn't it? Unbelievable. You can't even re-roll this pal. Look at that sick, not ro just rolling pushes on the Blitz. Would have liked that if he'd done it against me. But uh, he didn't, he just powered every single time. Oh wow, the uphill. Look at that. Sick thinking he's playing Blood Bowl 3, where uh, uphilling a character with Mighty Blow is relatively safe. I think we just blitz this. Ooh, wait a, wait a gosh darn minute. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, are you telling me 
we can blitz his favourite player. If we pow this. So you try and pow this, and if you do it, you can pom. You can't, it's just claw mighty, so it's shit, it's not even worth doing. Just claw mighty this guy then. It's uh, Claw mighty is so much worse than claw pom, isn't it? Flip me. If that was claw pom, I'm blitzing that guy all day. But with just claw mighty, it's not exciting enough. I think it's still decent claw mighty. And it's better than it is in Blood Bowl 3, but it's not that exciting. <laughs> it might be J5, yeah. <laughs> it might be that player. Caging the Claw Mighty. Love to see it. <laughs> it's like a gym cage, isn't it? He's caged the Claw Mighty and then <laughs> the ball's an afterthought. <laughs> Classic. But it is only Claw Mighty, it's not Claw Pom, so a lot worse than it could be. Like, Claw Mighty, uh, Claw Pom is just so much better than Claw Mighty. Claw Mighty is just going to get you, know, a bunch of stuns, and if you're lucky it'll pop off. Whereas, Claw Pom, you know, should get you a, a few Kaz, a bunch of removals, and uh, if you're unlucky it stuns, basically. <laughs> it is Muppet to a big extent. It really is, especially if you've got claw. If you if you've got a Pommer, whether it be a Claw Pommer or a Jump Up Tackle Juggernaut Pommer, instant. If if coincidentally the absolute this being the absolute best build you can have versus Elves, right? Jump Up so they can't they can't like zone him out at all, and uh, Juggernaut so you can hit wrestlers. Like, for example, the Strength 4 Wrestle Tackle Witch Elf with Luke. So, really perfect Elf Hunter he's got here. But, uh, yeah, no piling on makes these Nurgle not quite as... <laughs> yeah, not quite as rowdy. Ah. Bit overextended a bit here, isn't he? That there, Phil. He probably needs to come back a turn, right? His strength, his turn four here. As much as uh, PC loves taking the space, this might be a time to like withdraw a little bit because all of this is left behind, stuck on the troll. Like, this is so much strength left behind doing fuck all. This, this troll is fucking hard. <laughs> um, so yeah, he's yeah. Look, he's already moved him back. <laughs> yeah, look, yeah, this troll is fucking up from behind. He really is, isn't he? Like, it's ridiculous, man. He's got three block guard warriors doing nothing. Like, they're just held by three are holding four. Oh, PC. <laughs> PC loves to eat spits. Yeah, it's very good. I didn't even register what I'd said there. But, uh, he does. He does, doesn't he, you know? He really does. <laughs> From behind. <laughs> oh. One in nine. There you go. <laughs> Traps. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, now he can probably rescue things a little bit. You can at least free up this bloody, uh... No, he can't. So he's still stuck 4v3 over there, and then there's a strong line from Sick. Not in range, is he? What's this? What's this? What's this? No! No! What's this? Obviously, like he just forgot to move him back, right? He just he just forgot that he was still activated when he moved the other player. And uh, oh dear, this is not the best use of a claw, mighty. I mean. 
you know, if we write a strategy guide about how to utilize a claw mighty player, this isn't the way. <laughs> but yeah, he'll have he'd had him right and he'll have been thinking, he'll have done the blitz, and he'll have thought, I'll move this guy next. And then he'll have thought, actually I'll move this other guy next. Then he'll have moved the other guy next and been like, No, I didn't finish his move. <laughs> I've done that sort of thing before, but uh, he had to move everyone in just to try and protect him anyway, I think. Maybe just run the ball out to get sacked, so that he wouldn't, he wouldn't surf your claw mighty. <laughs> Literally potato out, in the hopes that you get your ball sacked instead of your claw mighty surfed. <laughs> it's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice power, he, he, can put, he could potato here actually, right? How does this look? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not that good, is it? <laughs> Even with everything, like this is so, this is so shit. For that there, Phil. Oh, he's run all the way back. Fight the troll some more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was trying to say not the best use is a, is a hilarious joke, but yeah. It wasn't that terrible. Like, he, he definitely, like, he just obviously didn't do it on purpose, did he? Do you know what I mean? Like, he obviously just didn't do it on purpose. He looked, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure that's what he was doing. He was thinking, I'll move this guy next. And then think, no, I'll move this guy next. And then rather than moving him next, moved him. And then just left him there, but it's just a mistake, wasn't it? Oh! Troll Stupid is pretty big. Oh, you gotta reroll that. Big and wouldn't even have to GFI, look. Double GFI. So he's got two guards on him. Can this guy make it? No, he's just gonna. He's gonna blitz. This actually leaves this a bit open, maybe. We could do some kind of desperation play here. I wonder what the play was. The play was. This this block first, right? This block first, which he failed. This block first, then stand him. Rackle blitzes him because he's strength four, and then like goes three, four, five, six, and then this guy runs up here and gets it past to him or something. Maybe not. Maybe where he was was okay. Was he in range? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. That was actually pretty good, wasn't it? That was like, like he actually was getting a bit of a cage there. Maybe he could have even wrapped around a bit with that guy and done something. Oh god, the killer. The biggest scumbag in Blood Bowl. Gets the knock down. Yeah, the Rotter should have stood first, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, ordering. Everyone does ordering issues, you know. Everyone has ordering issues, sometimes. Which they shouldn't. Like, you know, they shouldn't have standing issues. Like, everyone should get the stands done first. But, you know, in the heat of the moment, you don't, do you? I mean, different with the beast doing a 1 in 9, but if you're doing like 1 in 12, 9, 6, it's easy to not do stands first. Wow. Is this a counter score run? Just needs to push him. It's out of range. Ooh. Or is he? He could chain him, right? If he gets a million pushes, because no one else stood. 
So if he gets a million pushes, he could chain him, but he's got no rerolls left. Wait, did he just need one? just needs one push, I think. So... One, two, three, four, five players. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, this one's really far away. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. Jump up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, yeah. So, you could have to do all of the GFIs first. But the better way is to then just do that first block, right, and hope you get a push. Um, and then you can do, like, then it'd be less moves all around to do the others. But you'd start, you should still probably, like, do. One, two, three, four. That guy should go there first. And this guy should like do one, two, three, four, five, six. He should do one GFI. So one GFI and get those two players there and there. And then like do one hit to here. And then he can fill in that side. And then he can fill in there. And yeah, it did just have to do the GFI the turn before. If he didn't do two GFIs the turn, or at least one GFI the turn before. Probably two, right? Because he dodged away to hit him. So, I don't know if he did GFIs the last time. He should have done GFIs. Yep. Yep. He might have done double GFI last turn. I wasn't paying attention. But... Man, this dirty player foul. He is a claw mighty. But he's guard as well. It's pretty rowdy. Four. Yeah, like I, I don't think he did either, but it's hard to tell, isn't it? Oh, and he loses the guard. He loses the guard. No, I don't think he did. I didn't I don't know. <laughs> so, you know. You can watch the VOD if you want. Like it's too late to go back and check. We just don't have that we don't have that functionality. We actually don't, because it just goes back a random amount of time. I'm sure the backwards and forwards were an amount of time. Which is, seems insane because it is. Whereas at least in Blood Bowl 3 replays we can go by action and turn and half much better much better controls in the uh blood bowl three replays <laughs> yeah if you want to check you can it is rare it is rare yeah there's some though like the time the time bank is better right the turn time is better in blood bowl three than two That's about all. <laughs> the Kaz, the Kaz thing, right? The Kaz, the uh, the cell shading, like uh, filter, and the uh, the injured and stuff, and the dead when you get injuries. That's pretty fucking cool. That's pretty cool. Um, The, the thing about the rules is they're less compliant than Blood Bowl 2 rules are. <laughs> they're literally less compliant to Blood Bowl 3. Like, the Blood Bowl 3 rules are less compliant to Blood Bowl 2020 than Blood Bowl 2 is to CRP. Which is fucking stupid, but true. He's carrying on his dirty player. Oh my god. You fucking mad ass sick. 
<laughs> you fucking mad ass. Obviously he thinks he needs the, the guard Lino and the strength for Dodge Guarder in the fight, so he's just carrying up on the he's just carrying on the guy he doesn't need, which is the dirty player, but of course that's in massive danger of getting hit by any random beastman blitz. Because they've got horns. Four. I haven't changed any player profiles. They've kind of changed every star player by not giving them the special rules. So there is that. They've changed the profile of any player who's ever taken a random skill. <laughs> making them cost too much. I really hate carrying... I would definitely carry on the strength four bludger. Then there's only one guy you need to care about, which is this rack alert, right? Because the, the claw guy's still out. So you only care about the rack alert, the, this beast man can't hurt you, this beast man can't hurt you. But I guess, you know, Sick does get to fight with a strength guy now, which is really good. Wow, huge 1D there. Still, we still have 11 on the field uh, that there, Phil, but obviously down huge quality with a pest. Yeah, I think a, a bunch of his Black Orcs died or retired. <laughs> He's in a bit of a pickle now, isn't he? He blocked his path, though. He literally blocked his path. Three, four, double GFI. This fucking asshole Rackler blocked his path to tag this guy. I mean, he'd probably just dodge away anyway, but still. And I guess he could have maybe freed up somebody else, but... I'll need logic. This is a bit shit having these guys stuck on him. I guess he's got dodge, so we could just try and dodge him away. Yep. Huge, huge dodge. Ooh, I don't like the GFI. Maybe he had to. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess he had to because he needs this as well, yeah. Huge push. If he doesn't push him there, this dodge in one D gets him into a getting two D situation. Shift to the GFI. Hit to I think he might still 1D here. Honestly, don't even hate it. Yeah, because while it puts you in a bit of a shit spot, like, you know, in that he's very likely to be served, the fact that you can slam in, oh, I don't like him not being here though, right? You, you've got to kind of slam in the guards in the front as well. Tough spot though, I need. It's tough. Tough spot for a uh, hard player, Phil. This guy is getting surfed though, like easily. So, like, if you do this, you have to slam in the guards here. You have to slam in the guards to, to fight him because now you're just getting surfed. Okay, we're okay, well, not getting surfed. Didn't didn't get the extra troll hit. Like, that's really nice getting the troll hit. I was like, oh, that's, that's you know, if you're not going to surf him, at least getting the troll hit's pretty good. Now he's going to pick up on this guy, isn't he? There 
there you go. Get it on the right player. Everything is good. Yeah, this is the thing, like, claws, they make some stuns. You know, but that's all, isn't it? It's really unlikely that it leads to a big, like, a really impactful game. And, like, well, I mean, stuns are still impactful, right? Stuns still win drives. But no one really gets excited by stuns. Certainly not the same way they do about claw palm. Curl palm. Claw. <laughs> claw tail, that's the best. That's the that's the best combo, is claw tail. <laughs> can surf the warrior, but the gain like it's a bit dodgy. Well actually you can't because of him there. Or you can just bang him out. Oh my god. Monster surf times. Oh, oh yeah, the the strength four can surf, the, the carrier can surf. Blockless block. Pretty dodgy. Really wanted to get the surf, didn't he? But it's not going to happen. Going pretty close to this rackle, eh? Dodgers. That was fucking dicey as fuck, wasn't it? Dodging there with the, the rackle hit on. Doesn't activate the troll. It's still stupid. Gives him a free heart. Just that you haven't stunned them. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You just don't. And then, like, yeah, he got fucked up in the middle here, didn't he? That there, Phil. Like, four players in a little box there. Seeded the flank to uh, sick and. That's it, pretty much. I guess you could do like a four, five, four, two D. That's probably his best play. Like I know it seems stupid as fuck, but whatever else you do isn't going to work, probably. So that's probably the th oh, mm, I don't know. I think it's probably not that bad. Lovely, Ooh, that's lovely. Gets the dodge off. So it kind of sucked that he had to dodge, but you know, you'd take winning 89% of the time, wouldn't you? Yeah, the thinking dude. The glorious thinking blocks. <laughs> he shat himself, really. I wouldn't bet on Nurgle scoring in two, but you never know. This guy stayed out. What a what a brutally costly like misactivation that was. You can actually put your best players here and here. Like this this guard, I mean, particularly this guard should have been here. But um, you can put good players here because they can't. They literally can't blitz these two, right? They literally can't blitz these two because if they blitz these two, they just lose. <laughs> so you can actually put good players here. Um, so like that guard should have one hundred percent been there, and then you've got guard that side and strength four that side. And this this guy, this guy is too good, right? This guy could have been there or something. Could have put Blitzers there and Blackhawks holding the inside. See, I would have preferred to see the Blitzers 
out here, and the Black Hawk's holding me inside. Yep. P.I. Oh my god. Four players down for the Nurgle. <laughs> that flank completely exposed, but there's nothing to go there. Oh, it's Nurgle. He hasn't got much anyway. Top skulls! <laughs> oh, classic. And a one. <laughs> Into a stun. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> that there is the prototypical Nurgle 2 turn. <laughs> stun, stun, stun. Doesn't even take the surf. And he's right not to take the surf, right? Because you don't get you don't get SPP off the surf. So turn 16 you shouldn't surf anybody. Like if the if the result is if the result is secured then you want the star player points not run on surfing so. Not. Yeah, it's weird, yeah, he shouldn't have it. He's on 114, he ain't getting the 176. Would have been better off blitzing with his line or to try and get blocked. This line all is a lot better block to take. But instead he GFIs and dies. <laughs> nope, he re-rolls. Doesn't die. Lucky Lino. Yeah, well he made seven cars the week before all done, so <laughs> he was probably all pommed out, wasn't he? <laughs> Now nah, the fouls made a bunch of cards as well. It was it wasn't all the pump, but uh, he was very good. Oh, this completion fails. Sums up the game pretty well. There you go, big win for Sick as Eggs, he really did that, he was really struggling. And that there, Phil, went from like maybe getting a bye to a, he's going to be really struggling to get a spot in the playoffs now. Um, so that is us up to date now. Um, I don't know if the last match has been processed, it hasn't. So Squiggy is going to have a loss and PK is going to have a win. So like... It's crazily close, right? You've got these three, or, uh, or the top three. Elliot, Danton, and myself are definitely the top three. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it's all super close between all of these guys. Who knows gonna, who's gonna make the last, like who's gonna lose, it's absolutely crazy. So yeah, I'm guaranteed, yeah. Us three are all guaranteed, because like, look, five wins and three draws, so there's only one game left. There's literally only one game left for everybody now. Um, and also, I've got a win because Squiggy has not been responsive for like two weeks. So almost certainly I'm, you know, this win hasn't happened yet, but this is almost certainly an admin win. And uh, this is, you know, probably an admin win as well. Ho you know, hopefully he's all right, but uh, he has not responded on Discord for two weeks. So, um, yeah, but it's just crazy, right? There's like nothing between them. What's this? 15, 15... Um, 13, 12, 12, this is actually 14, and this is 11. So, like, even on 11, Tapioca, if he wins and the others lose, it's absolutely crazy. Like, anything can happen. It's anyone's guess who the two that are missing out are. But two out of these, te like, from 4 to 10, two of those teams will miss out. Obviously, Squiggy and Draco have already missed out, like, 100%. But, like, any of these could just win and lose. It's crazy. Well, I don't know if there any could. <laughs> Maybe King Boo and Jedi are through, right? 12, 15. 15, 15. Well, what, who are the bottom ones? Um, 9, 12, isn't it? So 12 and 12. 11. 
but 12. So 12 could go to 15, so these could both lose. And then it comes down to tiebreakers. So so may, may, maybe they've got the tiebreakers. Maybe King Boo and Jedi are like pretty safe. But from Chavite down, definitely. 13, 12, 12. Uh, yeah, because it's, it's so annoying that this one hasn't been processed yet. But yeah, PK is 14. And then Chavite 13. Phil 12. Sick 12. And Tapio 11. So it's, probably, it's more between those. And King Boo and Jedi are probably safe. But, you know, it because it, they it might not be possible for everybody to win below them to overtake them, right? These two are probably safe. I can't be bothered doing the maths. So imagine these two are safe, and then it's these bottom one, two, three, four, five. Three out of these five will make it, and it's going to be super interesting. So there you go. Thanks, Team Antelli. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? Totally undefeated. The only undefeated team. Um, pretty good. And I honestly, I should have at least obviously won against King Boo, right? I should have 100% won that game. Uh, so, yeah, but never mind. I, I, was, I was a bit stupid. Won't happen again. And, uh, yeah, and oh, sorry, I've forgotten the last, the last game, wasn't it? It was, uh, it was congratulations to Sick and commiserations to Phil. And that puts them level points. So super, super interesting the last week. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.